welcome to Biology My Passion. I am Soumya Harikrishna. We are learning the chapter Human Health and Diseases and today our topic is Allergy. So what is Allergy? Allergy is the exaggerated response of our body to certain allergens in our environment. So anything in our environment that can trigger our uh, this response are called uh, allergens. So allergens can be sometimes uh, dust or mice or pollen grains or animal dander or some kind of food also. So different people may be sensitive, that is called hypersensitivity. They may be sensitive to different types of allergens. So in order to find out which allergen is causing this kind of symptoms in a particular patient, we may be trying out different kinds of allergens in a very small quantity to see the response of the body. And once we finalize that or find out, we can avoid that particular allergen's contact so that we will not get allergy. When we have allergy, there are certain symptoms like a sneezing, watery eyes, running nose, itching, all this. So, uh, these are all caused by certain chemicals secreted by our body. So, usually during allergy, the master cells of our body secrete two chemicals called a histamine and a serotonin. The, they are causing this. So the antibodies involved in allergy are immunoglobulin E type. We learned there are four types, G, A, M, E, G, M, I told you to remember, of this E type is uh, in the allergy conditions. Then uh, if you, somebody is getting allergy, we have to take medicines to treat that. So those medicines are basically antihistamines, that is against histamine or suppressing that secretion of histamine, antihistamines, then adrenaline and uh, certain steroids are also used. So, uh, though it is a very small topic, you get questions from this area very often. Uh, the basic questions are, what are allergies or what are allergens, which antibodies involved, what are the chemicals secreted or which cell secretes it, uh, what are the treatments available. Another condition associated with our immune system is autoimmunity. Our immune system can find out the foreign cells. That is, we all develop acquired immunity by exposure to certain infection and we produce antibodies. And our memory cells will have an account of this particular infection and the future encounters our body reacts with an anamnestic response which saves us from further infection. About that we learned already. So this is actually an ability of the higher vertebrates especially to distinguish cell cells from non-cell cells. They can easily recognize the foreign molecules or foreign organism entering our own body. But there are certain situations where due to some genetic reasons or some immunological reasons, our immune system fails to distinguish between the self and non-cell cells. As a result, they start attacking our own cells. So they, if they attack our muscles, muscular system, we may get muscle weakness or if they destroy our liver cells, liver dysfunction or hepatitis, so complications are many. There are almost these conditions, that is the condition in which our immune system attacks our own cells, that is called the autoimmune diseases. There are more than 80 kinds of autoimmune diseases reported, but the most common ones are type 1 diabetes, then rheumatoid arthritis, Addison's disease, grave disease, uh, multiple sclerosis, lupus, etc. Hope this topic is clear for you. If you have any doubt, ask me in the comment box. And if you like my videos, like, share and subscribe to my channel, Biology My Passion.